Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to change our view from looking at our blue sheet, and we're going to look more into school links so that you can see again what we're doing with school links. So what you're going to do, if you want to use your Google Classroom, that's an easy way to get to school links. So here I am on my Google Classroom, and I just want to click on, let's say, first period. I go to my classwork section, and underneath the week that we're in right now, your school links is right here. And you can click that link, and it'll take you right to your school links. You'll log in, and it looks just like this. You're used to this. Now, this isn't one of our students. This is a fake account that I have. So there is no Christopher McCormick, but it would be Ren McCormick just to make it true if you're thinking Footloose. But it's Christopher. So I am here. And what you see is you see on the left-hand side, we've got all of our options. To make your course planner work, you're going to click where the apple is, right here. And this is going to pop up your selections. You're going to move your cursor over to keep those selections there, and you're going to click on Course Planner because you're planning all your courses out. So I click on Course Planner, and you're probably going to get something like what I got that says, hey, you're not done with this thing, dude. You need to keep working on it, so click on it. Let's complete everything. All right. Complete my plan, it might give me a couple more questions, or it might not. Like, what's your graduation plan, all that kind of stuff. I don't know, let's go, let's just go past it. This is where I wanna be, right here. Now, on this selection, this is where you'll add stuff. So just like when we looked at this, and we looked at all of our LA English classes, right in this column right here all those LA English classes. If I want to just get those done with, it's red, meaning your requirements aren't met yet. You need to sign up for all your classes. Okay, I can go to where the books are at the very top. That's my language arts. It's going to lay them all out here. And I can click on it and it will say, you have two options, Mr. Jensen, for your freshman year. You can take regular English, general, or you can take your pre-AP, which is your advanced placement. This is that college level English where you're working at a faster level later on and it's preparing you for that. This is just your general high school English. So let's say I just want to take my general high school English. I don't think I want to take the college kind of harder stuff. So I'm going to click on it and it's going to automatically fill two classes in. Each class is a semester. So I have a whole year of English now. There's two classes, fall and spring, basically, is what that means. I'm going to do it to my 10th grade again. I can use my blue sheet if I need to and look at what I highlighted. And I said, oh, my 10th grade year, I'm going to stay on the same track. I'm just going to take my general English. There it is for a full year. Then I'm going to take it again because English has to be taken all four years. You need four years. So I look at it and I say, okay, there's regular English. There's my advanced placement. There's business writing now available to me. That's also a CTE. So I could take this as an extra class on top of English, and I could call it a CTE, which is our career and technical class, or I could take it for English, and it would work. Business communications, I could do that as well. But I'm just going to take my 11th grade language arts. Now I got more options as I get further into this thing. Let's see what I got for my 12th grade year. Oh, there it is. 12th grade English. Now I got my AP courses that are available. Those are those of you that want to take those college level courses because you're thinking scholarships and all sorts of stuff. You want to take those classes. Business writing is available again. Business communications is available again. You can take those in, instead of that. But I'm just going to take my regular 12th grade English. Did you see how this turned green? I have just met all the requirements for high school. And when I look at it, all my years are ready to go. So my matrix at the top gives me a summary and I have a check mark here that says, congratulations, your requirements are met. All of your English courses, 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th, make the requirement. If you pass them all, you are good to go for English. That's how we're going to use school links coming from our blue sheet.
That's what we want to do. We want to try to get all those green check marks off for all these categories. Now I finished it with language arts. Today, you're going to go through all these different ones to finish. Math is not done. I don't have anything in my math. My requirements are not met. It tells you what you need to do, but these are going to be up to you. I'm not going to go through these ones. I just showed you the English, which is the first one. I hope that helps a little bit more.